In this video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest and probably the cheapest way to get graphics and lower thirds onto your live stream. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. NDI is a new technology that a company called NewTek created. It stands for Network Device Interface. Basically, what it does is let you send video over a regular network from one NDI-enabled device to another. Now, where this gets really cool is that most streaming software like vMix, Wirecast, and even OBS through an add-on plugin now support using NDI as an input. Where this starts to work for adding Lower Thirds lyrics is that vMix has a free program called Desktop Capture that takes any display from a computer and sends that out on your network as an NDI source. You can probably start to see the potential this has to be a cheap and easy way to get lower thirds and graphics into your stream from your existing presentation software without having to add any hardware. I'm going to show you how this is done in OBS, but know that if you're using vMix or Wirecast, you can do the same thing. OBS doesn't come with NDI capability by default yet. You've got to install an add-on plugin that will enable it. To do that, you need to download the plugin installer on your computer that is running OBS. I've got a link to this down in the description of this video. You'll also need to download and install the NDI 3.0 runtime that you'll find at the same link. Once those are installed, launch OBS version 21.1 or newer, and you should see the option to add an NDI source. To set up your presentation computer for NDI, Download the desktop capture program from vMix, and what you'll get is a zipped folder. Unzip that, and the executable that's in the folder is the program. So launch that, and your displays are ready to be sent over NDI. Back in OBS, when you add an NDI source, you'll see the computer's network name and all of its displays listed. Choose the display you want, click OK, and you've now got the computer's display as an input source in OBS. As far as your content goes, the actual lyrics or graphics that you're wanting to overlay on your video, there are lots of ways to make this work with different software packages. Some of them will be easier or better suited than others. The easiest way I've found to get lyrics into your stream from the computer that is running lyrics for your projectors is to use your presentation software's stage display or confidence monitor. All the popular programs have this feature, and it works well because it outputs white text on a black background. For example, we use Songshow Plus in our main sanctuary, and its stage display output is ideal because you can format your lyrics on the stage display however you'd want them, separately from how they are shown on the main output. To overlay something like this, all you have to do in OBS is add the NDI source over your video. I'll choose Display 3, which is our stage display output, then apply a keying effect by right-clicking on the NDI source and select Filters. In the Effects Filters, click Add and Color Key. Select Custom Color and choose Black. Close the filters and you've got your lyrics overlaid over your video. In ProPresenter, their stage display is a little busy with other information. You can turn that off, but maybe you still want all that information for the people on stage. What you can do is create a mask. What I did was bring a still frame of the stage display into Photoshop and create an image with all black where I want to mask things out and all white where the lyrics will be, which looks something like this, and then just save that as a JPEG. Then in OBS, I'm going to add another filter to the NDI source. This time, add Image Mask Blend, and in the path, go and select the image you've created. Make sure white is selected for the color and then click Close. Now all those other parts of the stage display are masked out, and you just see the lyrics. Finally, I can click and drag the whole source and position it where I want on the screen. I downloaded the trial versions of a whole bunch of different presentation programs. Easy Worship, Proclaim, Media Shout, they all had some sort of stage display that allowed me to send lyrics to OBS. One thing to note about Easy Worship is that they've integrated an NDI output into the program already, and it works really well. It sends the alpha channel over NDI, so you don't even need to add the color key effect, and it gives you a really clean key. Unfortunately though, they've only implemented this on the main display output, so you'd have to run this on a separate machine from your projection computer in your room if you want to show backgrounds. Now let's talk about a few things to be aware of that may trip you up. 
First, you need to have a gigabit network switch and gigabit network interface cards in your computer in order to run NDI. Also, your computer that is running OBS is going to have to be decently spec to both handle the incoming NDI video and encode your stream. If your computer is already maxed out with your stream, this solution probably won't work well for you. Finally, in order to create the stage display in your presentation software, you need three physical displays from your computer, either by adding another video card or look for a video card with more than two outputs. On our projection computer, I'm using the NVIDIA Quadro P1000, which gives four display outputs. You can find a link to that, as well as a bunch of other equipment that I recommend for live streaming, down in the description of this video. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can use NDI to send audio mixed from a DAW to your live stream. Until next time, bye.